uh, while we're on Storo Drive, we met a nice fellow in a. Uh, Uh, in a 370Z, just went by him, he's up on the uh, other side there. Um, cool dude, he had a red 370, him and his girlfriend or whatever, or I hope it was, actually, I hope it was your girlfriend and not like your sister. That feels so gross when someone's like, mistakes somebody for your girlfriend and it's like your cousin or your sister or something. But anyway, cool guy. Um, while we're sitting here in bumper to bumper traffic on Storo Drive, let's talk about something serious. I'm a car guy and I'm gay, oh my God. Ah gays and car culture. I didn't come out until I was like 20 for a number of reasons. Um, mostly my own bullshit. Uh, but I grew up like, you know, now everyone talks about, oh, it gets better, it gets better. And like there's YouTube and people can like find out, oh, there's people like me. I thought it was just me in my small town or whatever. Uh, which I think is great. It's like really nice and especially the fact that people's language has been changing a lot. There's much less homophobia like spewed on a regular basis in casual conversation and you know I, I feel like I grew up at the height of that right like you know I, I grew up in a small town uh, and every other word out of somebody's mouth was that's so gay what a faggot and it like it, it does stick with you it, it certainly does so growing up in a small town where everyone's just calling you a faggot for not being like them or whatever like it, it, it wears on you so you try to be like everybody else you try to do your normal thing so I went to college and I met, met all these friends and they were really cool um, you know, time goes by, I discover, hey, you know what? I am definitely gay. Uh, so it was tough because I had to tell my friends and I didn't know, I'm, you know, I'm in a fraternity. I'm like, oh no, I've got to come out to these people. What are they gonna say? And all my life I've been, in a, my family's always been really cool with that. I mean, it's, uh, and I wasn't out to them yet, but you know, my aunt was an artist and we would go to like her friends parties and stuff and there was always a pretty like intense gay community there and it was never like Tom don't be like them it was more like wow wasn't that party fun um, because gays have good parties uh, I'm glad I hope that coming out is not a thing in the future I think that's it's ridiculous because the thing is you don't just come out people always say like my coming out story you don't just come out once you come out constantly you're always coming out so I come out to my fraternity at a meeting, right? And I'm like, I just want to get this one and done, like tell everybody. And I remember it like didn't go very well. Not because people were mean. It was more just because like I said it really matter of factly. And I think everyone thought I was joking. Cause like, you're, it's just the way our friends were. So like, I kind of said it again after the meeting, like, hey guys, um, that's true. Like I am gay. And people like didn't know what to say. And the funniest thing that happens when you come out to people is when they don't like the way you came out to them. Which I think is really obnoxious because I, look, I'm telling you something about myself. I've decided that you're important enough in my life that I, I should probably share this part of me with you. Uh, and then you go and say like, you know, I just didn't like the way you came out. And it's funny because it was the gay ones who didn't like the way I came out. They're like, you, you know, I don't know why. It was more like they didn't want me to come out in such a big forum. Like, I don't know, who cares? Um, so I thought that was really weird. A little bit of gay on gay crime there where it's like, you know, how dare you? How dare I what? I, you know, like I haven't been through this before. I don't know the rules. First of all, there aren't any rules. You come out how you want to come out. If you want a big dramatic thing, make it a big dramatic thing. Enjoy yourself. But I didn't. I just wanted to be like, hey, look, this is the situation. So come out to my friends. You know, it, it was so awkward at first, but it blows over and yeah, it gets better. Thanks, YouTube. But you're always doing this thing and you're, all, and that's the frustrating thing is like, if somebody says like, oh, my girlfriend, they're not instinctually thinking like, oh, is this person gonna like, not like me anymore? Or blah, 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 blah. They're thinking like, oh, I'm just telling them about myself. And I do that and there's it's like always that pause where it's like, oh, I wonder. The thing about coming out though, when you're in like straight society is that you have a couple options. Are you gonna go and are you gonna go and make new friends who are gay? Or are you gonna be accepted by your group of friends? And if you're gonna be accepted by your Watch friends, out. vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. If you're gonna be accepted by your friends, are you now the gay one in the crowd? Because that could be really frustrating. 
And if you accept it for too long, everything's a gay joke. Because you end up in these circumstances where you can't have a normal conversation with some of the people that were your friends because now they're like giggling about every time you say the wrong word that might have some like really asinine sexual connotation. So that happened with some of my friends. I ended up like there are people that I just probably don't see anymore because it just gets old. Like I can't, I can't, I can't defend every joke. And then I feel mean because like if they do make a joke like that, I just ignore them. And they're kind of like, why are you laughing, bro? Like lighten up. Or you have to go the other route and just like find all gay friends or like, you know, it's nice. You should be in a group of people who you're comfortable with and you're not the gay one, which is what actually the car community is really good about this. Shockingly, car culture is awesome because I can go in to a car meet with whatever I'm driving, my M5, my 350Z, my Porsche. If I've got my boyfriend in the car, they come up and they they immediately want to see the car. They're like, hey, what's going on here? Like, what is this? Tell me about it. Um, we talk cars for a few minutes. I introduce them to my boyfriend and they're like, wow, cool. Like, hey, we're going out to lunch. Want to go? Great. Now, are there a lot of gays in the car community? No, there are a few. But what I like is that we're not the gay ones. Like, I love this about the car community is that I can walk into a car meet and not be the gay one. I'm the I'm the guy with the 911. I'm the guy with the M5. Stage of the 